Chris, he didn't knock Logan Paul down or out. No, uh, Skip, look, Floyd has made a career, made his living on not taking unnecessary risk. And he wasn't going to walk. This kid, look, he's 50 pounds heavier than Floyd at the fight. Skip, he's so much bigger. And Floyd is, what, 44 years of age. And the hand speed and the, the precision is not there anymore. He knows it. And for me, look, Floyd's like, if I can pick up a quick $20, $30 million, however much he made, Skip, it was more than had he not taken the fight he could have made. He's like, I'm not taking any risk. Because the kid, cause, but the, uh, uh, Paul did land a few good shots on Floyd. He hit him with a couple, uh, couple of shots. I don't think it hurt Floyd, but he did land a couple of shots. And, and, but the thing is, with Skip, you hurt his corner. That's the greatest fight of all time. And you, you lasted with him. Skip, it was just about him getting there and finishing the fight. It wasn't about him beating Floyd. He just wanted to finish to say, a YouTuber. I do jokes. I eat Legos. I step on your, I jump out of play. I do all this crazy stuff. And I went eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather. I've done something that a lot of boxers can't say they did. And they're trained in this. Mm. And I did it. So for mm. me, Skip, I, I think Floyd just looked. Floyd, you done made enough money. You convinced me to watch damn near every fight you've ever fought on yep. pay-per-view. The ones I didn't attend in person, I watched on pay-per-view. Floyd, let this go now. Floyd, Floyd wasn't in shape to fight. Now nah, he wasn't in skip Floyd. Floyd is a naturally small man. He only weighed 155. Floyd's only going to walk around at 155. That's why he can fight his whole career at 147. Yep. Skip all these taking. You're going to uh, camp for eight weeks. You're going to drop eight pounds easy. So that's why he was never at, never tasked to like, oh, man, he, he barely made weight. Because he's a naturally small man. He's a naturally 150 one pound, 50 poundish man. Well, he only fought once at 154, and he, he didn't even make that. He fought at like 150. So for me, it wasn't entertaining. It was just a bunch of ho ho hugging and holding on. Uh, Floyd was not going to take the risk to put himself in harm's way the way he would need to to not Jake Paul out. Mm. I think Jake or Logan. Logan Paul. Logan, Logan Paul. Logan. Logan Paul. Logan. He's lucky it wasn't Jake Paul, yeah. or he might have been in trouble. Yes. Yeah. Jake so, was a lot during yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. But Skip, the, Paul, Logan Paul was so much bigger than Floyd. Floyd has never fought a man that much bigger than he is. So now all of a sudden you got to punch up instead of just punch even kill. But I was disappointed because I thought, thought I would, even if he didn't knock him out, I thought he'd get a lot more shots than what he would did on him. Mm. But I get, I thought the kid. Uh, uh, Made a, um, did pretty well for himself. He did pretty well for himself. Even though this did not count on Floyd's record, obviously, it's 50 and zero. Yeah. It tarnished Floyd's legacy in my mind mm -hmm. because I carefully watched it thinking it was going to be a joke. Right. I think most people thought it was going to be Ringling Brothers in the ring, <laughs> right? Just yeah. a circus. And even in the pre fight interview that they did on Showtime, Floyd admitted, he said, I, I'm retired from boxing, but I'm not retired from entertaining. Right. And he said, it, it, I'm paraphrasing how he said it, but he said, I'm, I'm trying to decide, should I just knock him out early or should I let it last for a while? Right. Because that's what he thought was about to right. happen. That did not happen. Right. In fact, Floyd tried to just peekaboo him for the first two rounds, just sort of feel him out. In the second round, he he resorted to some Ali rope-a-dope yeah, trying, trying to wear to him, him out, out. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And then in the third round, Floyd got tagged a couple of times. Yeah, not did. not that he got hurt or knocked down, but he got tagged. Right. And it it ticked him off. Mm -hmm. And he got mad and he started coming full force. Right. Whatever he had left at 44, he was throwing at Logan Paul mm -hmm. in the third round. And I have never seen Floyd Mayweather Jr., the greatest defensive fighter ever, not, not a great knockout puncher, but still a good puncher puncher. Mm -hmm. Right. I've never seen him swing and miss so much because he swung and missed with so, a bunch of haymakers. And I know the stats are, are tilted way in Floyd's favor right. because Floyd landed 43 of only 107 punches while Logan Paul was 28 of 217. <laughs> Lo Logan Paul threw 207. He threw 110 more punches right. than Floyd did. So he was coming. He right. was trying. Right. And he's not a bad technical boxer mm -hmm. or, or he would have gone down. Yeah. Because the point was, not only did Floyd not knock him out, he never even knocked him down one time. No. The, not one time was Logan Paul what you'd say was in trouble Days in that fight. Nope. Not, not one time. Nope. He had a little bit of a mouse under one eye. He took a couple of whacks. Floyd got in the, the, the better shots. Yeah, he had the cleaner and, shots. And 
I tried to score it. I know it wasn't being scored, right. but but just very simply, I, I gave Floyd five out of eight rounds. Mm -hmm. So if it had counted, he would have won on right. points. Right. It would have been fairly close, but he would have won on at least on my card. Right. I saw ESPN's card. They had it about the same. Right. So it wasn't that. It was that Shannon Sharp bought this and went to watch it at a theater, <laughs> and I bought this and watched it on my couch with Ernestine and Hazel, and I, I was ready for the silliness. Yeah. I, I wanted to see how fast he was going to go down. And we talk about this earlier, but I thought uh, uh, Ocho Cinco fight was more entertaining than yeah, this. Well, you could, we're going to talk about that yeah. in a minute. You could certainly argue that. But but I was entertained just because I wasn't entertained. Right. I kept waiting. I you're, was disappointed. You, you're a Floyd fan. I am. I'm not. And so after a while, I, I'm definitely not a Logan Paul fan. I found myself rooting for Logan Paul because to, to just stand up. If you can stand up for eight rounds, and it got to the point where near the end of the eighth round, he's clowning right. Floyd. Right. He's making fun of him. Skip, it's like you can't knock me out. Skip, it's like anything. If, if, if I'm a novice tennis player and I go yeah. out there and I take a, and I take a, 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 a game off yeah. of the doll, a joker, I won. Yeah. Heck I'm yes. good. Oh, if you did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Skip. Yes. You the professional. Yes. I ain't got no business in here. I'm just doing this. I'm just joking well, th around. This was the uh, effectively taking a game off Nadal. Yes. yes. Because he stood up the whole fight. Right. And Floyd was trying, d doing his damnedest to, to at least knock him down one time. Right. And he could not do he it. He couldn't. And, and afterwards, Floyd readily admitted, I hate. I'm not 21 anymore. Right. And he was better than I thought. He was it, the age, Skip, the age. And you, like you said, if you look at the misses. Floyd, and, but I noticed this, Skip, against Connor. Because I noticed a, a younger Floyd, Connor would have been out of there inside of five rounds. But as we start to age, Skip, that marksmanship, that Floyd was pinpoint accurate. I mean, you you yeah. look at him against Cotto. You I, look at him against some of them other, other fighters, and yeah, he never, didn't miss. Never been anyone better. In that regard, <laughs> defensively and pinpoint yeah, accuracy. Yes, yes. He could he could roll the shoulder and you throw and he come back boom. When he threw that they, again they were sometimes powder puff kind yes. of punches, but they landed right. where they were intended to land. Right. Last night, not so much. And Floyd didn't look right to me. I know he's grown the beard, right. but it made his face look, look fat, yeah. which was shocking to me. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, I mean, there's a difference between being <laughs> in fighting shape and says, okay, I'm in shape. Floyd's in great shape to be a 44-year-old man. He's in really good shape. Oh, he is. I but agree. <laughs> he's not in 44. He's not in boxing shape. That's a whole different type of shape. Because he used to fight at 147, 147. as you said, and he weighed in 155. 155. Two day, was it two days ago? Yes. Yeah. And the point was, he probably went and ate. He, he might have fought at 160-something, right? Because right? he looked like right. And he was a little pudgier around right. his waistline. Yes. The usual, usually, he's almost too skinny. You right. know, like he was, he, you, you want to talk about ripped and, and thin. Yes, Man, he yes. Was, he, he, but you look at Jake Paul, and I'm watching Jake Paul in the ring. Jake Paul, he weighed at 189. Yeah. He probably walked in the ring 195, maybe even no 200. No doubt. No doubt. And as Floyd said afterwards... He, he knew how to use his weight against Floyd because right. he was so much bigger. And, right. and remember, he's six inches taller, right. so he's a lot longer. Right. And, and he could sort of suffocate Floyd with his height right. and his reach. Not that he has long right. big arm span, but he's just so much bigger. Right. And, 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 and it was hard for Floyd because it's it's too much tonnage to fight skip through. Skip, when, when, when somebody that much bigger than you lean on you, yep. Floyd would try to hit him with the uppercut. It, but would. you hit him in his chest. Where normally you hit, he, he throwing that punch against somebody his sight. That's a chin shot. Yep. Remember he caught he caught Connor with that shot in in the clinch. Boom. Mm. Well, this dude is <laughs> that's a big man. Logan Paul's a big man, Skip, man. and he has he has some technique. Now, if he were to get in, he, he get in the ring with Bud Thurman, he get in the ring with somebody that actually that's active now. Oh, they get him out of there in a couple of rounds. But that's a different ball game when Floyd is just is ex exhibition. Floyd is just mainly hitting the heavy bag. Floyd's not sparring anymore, Skip. Yep. He's on the speed bag. He's on the heavy bag. He's doing jump rope. That's a whole different ball, a whole different animal than actually fighting. So because I do have so much respect for Floyd as a boxer, that, that was embarrassing for him. <laughs> that ju just for me, it hurt my eyes to watch it. I'm going to have a hard time getting it out of my memory bank <laughs> because – it might be the last I ever see of Floyd in any kind of quote unquote fight. Right. Because I would recommend to him that was not worth it. Yeah, let it go. I, I know 
you know, he's made 20, jokes 30, about, yeah. hey, if Connor wants a rematch and they'll give me $100 million, maybe I'd do it. I, I just don't want to see it anymore. No. I, I, I want to try to hang on to my memory of Floyd versus Pacquiao, right. going back to all those Cotto right. fights and all, because you want to talk about a wizard. Woo. You was, want to talk about gifted? You want to talk about the ability to duck punches, to avoid punches? There's never been anything like him before. Even nothing. the great Sugar Ray Leonard wasn't quite in full class. The only, the only guy that had defense at that size like him was Sweet Pea Whitaker. Yep. But Sweet Pea's offense wasn't like his. That's what made Floyd Mayweather so spectacular. He had the defense of Sweet Pea, but he had an offensive arsenal that was unrivaled. Guys had offense, you know, the Kings. When you talk about Leonard, Durant, Hearns, all those Hagler. Skip, they had offensive firepower, but they couldn't dodge punches like this guy. Mm -mm. And that's why you see you look, Tommy Hearns, they have to use subtitles. All these guys, Floyd still is able to go around and function because he didn't take those punches because of his defensive skill set. I, I know it was a long time ago, but do you remember what Floyd did to Canelo? When yeah. He, I know it's forever yes, ago. Yes, he and, drug him. And yes. Canelo was a baby. But, yes. But he, you want to talk about taking somebody to school? Yes. Cool. Skip, Lord, I mean, it was a mismatch. Pe pe people don't realize, Skip, that early on, Floyd started out at 130. Floyd was knocking people out until his hands got bad. Yeah, he did and he bad beat hands. everybody. He beat Kodo, Medina, Hatton, mm -hmm. got it, you name it. He, he didn't did. duck anybody. Mm -mm. And they're like, well, Floyd don't knock. No, 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 no. He didn't duck anybody. You go back and look at Floyd's still career. still not sure, sure he fought anybody of note when he caught them at their peak or their right No, time. he made them look like that, Skip. He just made them look bad. He made them look bad. Yeah, but... He caught, I mean, now, now uh, Canelo, now you realize just how special it was because Canelo has gone up in weight. Canelo's 168 now. So, now obviously, that's, that's off the table. Yeah. And now Canelo looks unbeatable. He does. But he made... He pitched a shutout. He shut him out. Mm-hmm. Well, I, for one, how much was it, Forty nine ninety five. Yeah. I, I didn't mind spending my forty nine ninety five. Yeah, well, I, well, I spent it for two reasons. I wanted to see Ocho. To see. Yeah, well, and, and Ocho we're went first, it. and we're going to talk about Ocho in a little bit, but that was sort of the highlight of the yeah. night. Although I did get it. a kick out of seeing Floyd have to labor all through eight three-minute rounds just to, just to get through it. He's never had a man that size no. lean on him for mm -hmm. eight rounds, Skip. That's a lot, that's a lot to hold him up. Yep. So, okay, you paid Floyd, for it. give it a rest. We're talking, <laughs> whether or not it was embarrassing, they're looking at $100 million, right, for Floyd, possibly $20 million for Logan Paul. So maybe they're the ones laughing at us. Oh, no, I'm going to have to get on that. Hey, Skip, hey, what, what you think, Skip? You, you think what I'm thinking? Fight? Who do you, you want me to fight? You and me? I'm available. <laughs> that is something I could get behind. <laughs> and I feel like well, Maddie about would one, one minute as well. Round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.